So, hi everyone, I'm Juan de Dios Romero. Thank you for having me here today. I work for BBVA Data and Analytics, that is the research and innovation center of BBVA. And I belong to the urban analytics team here in BBVA. And we've been working with transactional data since 2014. And I'm here to, to show you how our analysis, our uh, tourist analysis, have evolved since then. So um, first of all, uh, what I want to show you is uh, why we work with uh, transactional dat data. After all the, uh, the speakers have uh, spoken about the, the good things of geodata, uh, the only thing I want to say is that the transactional data has the, a good thing that is that the, the data is uh, real facts. I mean, when somebody uh, leaves a, 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 an opinion in a social network, they can be lying, they can be saying something and they can be thinking another thing. And you, when you buy, you, you, you buy th something, you are saying that you like the thing you, you are buying. So uh, <coughs> we think that that's uh, something that is different from other sources. After that, we, well, we have been talking about surveys, the cost of having that, we have to manage the, the transactions. So having that in a database is uh, the same cost. And also we have uh, the, the sample side. Uh, we can see all the, the transactions that our customers, our call holders, making in every point of sale and also the, the transactions and other banks, card holders making in our point of sale. Also, uh, we, can, we have the, the timestamp to the second of each transaction, so we can, uh, and also with the lat long point of uh, the point of sale, so we can see it, uh, both time and, and place of the transaction with uh, the, the, a lot of granularity. So, uh, as uh, I said before, we started in 2014 with uh, our uh, tourist analysis and the first thing we, we did was to just to take our sources and uh, visualize them. We, we didn't make uh, much uh, analysis, so the kind of things uh, we did, uh, you, here you can see an updated uh, map of uh, how the, the foreigners, the international tourists, uh, move uh, around the Spain. Here, this one is from this summer, from June to, to September, and we can see it by, by nationality. Here you have the French tourists, you can see how they, they transact uh, near the, the border, and also all around the, the, the country. But we can compare and contrast how the, the British people do it. They, they don't have uh, as much uh, power in the, near the border, but you can see how in the islands and also in the Canary Islands, they have presence. Here are the, the Americans. Once they cross the, the ocean, they try to, to see as much country as, as they can. So you can see how they, they go to, to the north, that if we go back to the British or the French, <laughs> we're much more clear. And also, we can see things like this, Norwegian people that uh, they tend to, to make a, a beach and sun uh, way of uh, tourism. You can see here in, in, the, in the south, in, in the Mal Malaga, how they, they have a very large presence. And you can compare that with Japanese people that they like much more a cultural uh, kind of uh, tourist. They like uh, to visit uh, the, the, the triangle in Andalusia, Cordoba, Seville, Malaga and also they, they go to Santiago de Compostela. This kind of a study we, we did first in 2014, and we have been doing it uh, since uh, well, last summer, so we are still doing that. But uh, one day we, we realized that uh, we may need uh, new methodologies to, to apply to our data sources to even uh, give more value to them. So, this is uh, an example of a uh, new methodology. Uh, there was a, we have uh, had a, a project with Excel Tour, and they uh, presented us a, a challenge that was to measure the domestic uh, tourism, tourism here in Spain. Well, the first thing we had to do was to, say, uh, to think a, a way of saying which transactions were touristic and which transactions were not. And that, uh, 
took us to, to, to that concept of user environment. We took the, the definition by the WTO organization of user environment and we tried to take it to our data sources. So we uh, created this uh, methodology. There was, is, is going to be a, a paper about it with the details in uh, late January. So I invite you to, to stay tuned and check it out. And the, the good thing about that, that, this started as a research project, but then it became a, one of the, the most uh, important things in our analysis, because uh, we use it to a lot of projects. This is an example that we made with the Secretaria de Turismo in Mexico. Uh, we studied uh, 12 uh, corridors uh, for them, and one of them was the Pueblo of Magicos program. And we use this uh, usual environment methodology to be able to uh, difference between national tourism and residents. Uh, because for us, we, it's easier to, to see which uh, transactions are made by, by international tourism. But uh, it was not easy to, to difference between residents and national tourists. And we made that. We have been using it uh, for a lot of uh, applications, not only with, for tourists, but uh, you will see later on. After some time working on the usual environment methodology and applying it, we realized that the, the next step was not only to go to um, plain uh, tourist analysis, but also to go further and look for, for new focus, for, for new um, places to apply our analysis. So we jump it to, to some things like this, is impact of uh, events or natural disasters of, and see how they uh, change the, the normality of, uh, of the, the, the destination we are analyzing. Here you can see uh, an analysis we made for the Madrid uh, Council that uh, we analyzed the world plight that uh, had place uh, last year here in, in Madrid. We also have uh, analyzed uh, natural disasters as uh, uh, hurricanes in Mexico. We are doing things with uh, the last uh, earthquakes that uh, took place there. Another example of a new focus for us was the, this, that is the, our last uh, project that we made uh, with Carto this year. Um, we want to see how big cities that Madrid, Barcelona, and Mexico City were being used by the, our car holders. We know that uh, our car holders are a good sample of the society. So here you can see the official districts, the, the administrative districts in Madrid. And we saw how can we uh, see the land use of uh, the big cities uh, through our transactions. That uh, We apply the same methodology for the three cities. So that uh, got us a comparison between them. A lot of uh, stuff that you can uh, see in that uh, web page is totally open, and uh, the methodology, you can check it there. So um, that was all. I just uh, wanted to, to show you our uh, path to our uh, days, so from 2014, and uh, I will be happy to, to answer your questions afterwards in the coffee break. Thank you. <laughs>